Hey guys, welcome back! Today on Crafty Hackers, we're making simple and fun Christmas decorations that we hope will make your friends and family smile. Okay, let's get started. You may remember this sweater from a fashion video we did earlier this year. Well, we are about to repurpose it again. If you want to make this too, grab one of those styrofoam hoop thingies from the craft store and cut the sleeves off any old sweater you've got lying around. Pick up your trusty hot glue gun and glue the sweater sleeve to the ring. Then wrap the material around the hoop, pin it in place, wrap the other sleeve to completely cover the hoop. Next, you're going to cut a few pieces of a paper napkin and crinkle them up into little messy balls. Now we're going to glue a square of furry fabric around the messy crinkled up ball, like this. Glue on some ornaments and decorations. We went with a more rustic theme. Don't forget the fuzzy balls! Now you've got a cozy wreath for the holidays. But we're not quite done yet. Take the cardboard roll out of your aluminum foil box and place it inside this paper cone wrapped in parchment paper. Then wrap and glue some of that sweater fabric around the cardboard tube. And you're also going to wrap and glue the cone in the sweater material. You'll want to leave a little bit of extra fabric at the bottom so you can fold it under and glue it on the inside. Come here, glitter pine cone. You're gonna get a little trim. Perfect! Now, glue the pine cone pieces to the bottom of the tree. And use the bottom of the pine cone as the star for the top. These decorations are so snuggly. Is it weird that we thought everything should be wearing a sweater this year? Probably, but we don't care. Now for the millionth use we found for cardboard toilet paper rolls. First, snip off about an inch to make a little ring and to grab some yarn. Remember this trick? Wrap the yarn around the ring and tie it up the center. Then cut the sides to make this cute little pom-pom. Then make it some friends. Next, you're gonna poke some green wire through the pom-poms making a sort of garland. Glue a little red pom-pom at the end and snip off the extra wire. Then bend it into a spiral shape. Next, twist a red and white pipe cleaner together so it looks like a candy cane. Bend and snip. Make a bunch for your pom-pom tree. tree is kind of grinchy and muppety at the same time. Muppety? Muppety is a word, right? <laughs> Anywho, moving on. And now it's time for another edition of Fun with Spoons. Cut the handles off a bunch of plastic spoons and glue the round parts to a white cone. Then spray paint the whole thing with glittery spray paint. You can even use a two-tone effect with silver and gold, like we did here. Add some confetti and of course, more glitter. Just use all the glitter. Seriously, never too much glitter. Okay guys, this one was pretty fun to make. First, we drew a Christmas tree onto a red napkin. We cut it out and then cut two slits in the middle. We put our silverware in with a couple sprigs of pine. It really snazzed up our holiday party. We also found a way to satisfy our crew's major sugar cravings with this treat idea. First, we put some double stick tape on the back of a candy bar, then stuck two candy canes on. Then we stuck a bunch of candy bars and goodies together to make this glorious sugar sleigh. Seriously, you won't gain weight or get cavities if these treats are in the shape of a sleigh. You know we couldn't make a craft video without getting some clay involved. First, we rolled out this white clay. Then we pressed this lace into the bottom half and rolled it so the clay would keep the lacy pattern. Then we pressed lacy flowers into the top half. Trust us guys, this is going to look really cool when we're done. Okay, next we cut out these holiday shapes with cookie cutters. 
and poked holes into the tops of the designs. When the clay dried, we had some classy white ornaments for the tree in our brick room. Let's cut this wine cork in half. Then glue a glittery pine cone to it. Now paint the insides of the prickly parts with some shimmery green paint. Add a bow on top for an instant tiny Christmas tree. Okay, before you stuff those candy canes in your mouth, let's give them a little job. Use some double-sided tape to stick three candy canes together, making a little stand. Tie a little ribbon around them and stand the whole thing up. On a piece of Christmassy paper, write the name of your guest to complete the placeholder. Now you can be the boss of your guests and make them sit where you want them to sit. We need to keep Jessica far away from the eggnog if you catch our drift. Hey plates, we're gonna turn you gold and paint your edge with green paint. You'll need about three coats of paint. When it dries, you can write cheerful holiday messages on your plate with chalk. Add any embellishments you want. Have fun! These popsicle sticks don't know it yet, but they are going to become part of our Christmas extravaganza! First, we glued the popsicle sticks in this snowflake pattern. Then, we glued on some Christmas tree sprigs. We added some red pom-poms in the center and topped it off with a cute little bow. You don't think we're overdoing it, do you? Nah. You can also make placeholders out of gold pine cones. See? That was easy. Let's do more. Use a wine glass to trace a circle out of some glitter foam sheet. And make a little snowman by gluing three white pom-poms together. Glue them to the glitter foam sheet circle. Give your snowman some eyes, a nose, and a couple of arms. A plastic creamer container makes an adorable snowman hat. Okay, Frosty, time to go in your little glass home. Glue the wine glass over the glitter foam circle. Put a candle on top, and you've got the cutest candle holder ever. Seriously, we can't even with that little snowman hat. For this next one, we folded a piece of red paper in half. We also folded this white paper doily in half and in half again to make a line so we could cut it. See what we did there? It's a Christmas card! Add some confetti stars and some gold dots to make it sparkle. How about another tree idea? Roll a piece of green paper into a cone shape and cut it so it's even at the bottom. Then glue some green feathers around it. Now this is a Grinchy Christmas tree. And now, you should have about 101 ways to make a Christmas tree. Which Christmas tree idea is your favorite from this video? Tell us in the comments! It turns out if you wrap a gold ribbon around the stalk of a pineapple and slap on a pair of sunglasses, you'll have yourself a pineapple who's ready to party for the holidays. Let's roll out three different colored pieces of polymer clay into long noodles. Pinch the ends together and twist the pieces together in a spiral. Cut off the end now open up a plastic ornament ball and glue a couple of stars to the outside of each half. Paint with Mod Podge and confetti it up. Now glue on the unicorn horn and add some googly eyes. And of course, hang it on the pineapple for a unicorn pineapple Christmas. Okay, for real, is Jessica fired now? <laughs> Present wrapping 101. Wrap with pretty paper, tie a fancy ribbon around the package, and place some Christmas tree sprigs in the ribbon. Simple and elegant. Did you know you can make a wreath out of a paper plate? Just cut out the center and tie a bunch of bows around it. Mix it up with different colors and textures. And boom, your wreath game is strong. That's it for now. Be sure to tell us which Christmas decoration was your favorite in the comments. Merry Christmas, guys. P.S. If you like what we're doing and want to keep seeing our crafts and hacks, let us know by subscribing and sharing our videos. We want to keep making awesome crafty videos for you, so please help us get the word out about our channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.